Hey guys, Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here for the weekend. It is the new year. Holy moly. You guys just probably seen this a little bit after, but this is Linda. And Cameron, we're going to go over what's sold in our online store. We sell part-time on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark platforms like that. All the stuff we find at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, trying to buy it low, sell it high to make some money. Oh, my hair looks crazy. Anyways, uh, we've been in the garage. Girl's like when he thinks. Yeah, when I think I'm just like a <laughs> nervous tick or whatever. But, you know, the problem is we can't find one item. So hopefully we'll find it today. We're missing one item. I know I listed three of them. They're little emblems and I can't find it. And it's really bothering me. So we're going to go over what we did find, though, quite a bit here. Then we'll do the numbers first. Then we'll show you the items and what they sold for. At the very end of the video, there should be a breakdown of the profit before tax to give you an idea what we're actually taking home after selling all this cost of goods, fees, all that good stuff. So how did we do? So we had 46 sales across two platforms for this weekend. Um, people were buying buying a lot of stuff. I mean, some of them might have been a little tipsy buying, but hey, we'll take it. Um, but we had um, just under 22.45. Really, really good weekend. And Friday was awesome. We sold 22 items on Friday. For I want to say eleven hundred dollars. Yeah, 20. Friday was just bing, bing. It was just nonstop bing. sales. Definitely good stuff. Obviously, Saturday was pretty strong. Sunday, I think, was the weakest of all the days with the least amount coming through. But still, very happy with the weekend. Let's get into it. The first item is a Mercari item. First on Mercari. Be careful with this one. I want to get dirty. Is a Mercari item? Here we These are. These are the. Um, charts and charms you should put your glasses on you can't Sorry. see <laughs> the charts and charms um and that cameron picked up a bunch of those and so we've been selling them and this one sold on ebay no, for mercari. this one sold on mercari for 19 plus shipping or three bucks in each of them i think i got four in total three different ones and then i had one and a double up so we sold one on ebay for i think 20 or 25 and this one for 18 yeah. plus shipping so very happy with that now we'll get into First item is a pair of New Balance women's rock and tone walking shoes. They're a size six. We picked these up at Savers. Um, they're really good. Really good shape. They are. The bottoms have no walking wear to them. So whoever bought them did not walk. I them. think they were eight or nine bucks and they sold for $36 shit. Not too bad. Next up, we got a book. We have um, The Children's Friend from 1928. This is a hard book back at hardback book and that one's over seven dollars yeah not a whole lot but it gets out of here then we've got a curie coffee maker replacement drip tray and grate sold for 17 dollars shipped pretty good this is a good drip tray it's the so. mint color by the way yeah the color ones are a little bit better they seem to sell they're probably harder to find but usually i can pick up a keurig if it's one of these ones for maybe five bucks or less if i can i can part this out for anywhere from like 14 to 18 bucks and then you can sell the little pod holder yeah usually for off. like 10 bucks the water tank water tank there's like a couple pieces you get yeah. it's not worth a ton don't go buy every cure you can and definitely don't spend a lot if you do buy it. tori girl joined us we'll see if she can make it to the video she usually gets a little hi? crazy hi. say hi <laughs> good job say watch our videos she's like, no <laughs> she uh, can't say not it there yet zane can say yeah. it but Anyways, next item. Next up, we have the Snap-on Vantage Pro Diagnostic screen. Lab Scope, sold as is for $600 shipped that going helped, Global Shipping Program. That helped Friday out a lot. That was half of the yeah. sales. But <laughs> those are from the tool buy. We've gotten, we have like six of those. We've sold four. We have two left. And we have a couple more, tool, a lot of other tool stuff. But of those particular ones, only two more left. Next up, we got a Bill Evans CD lot right there. And that sold for 14 and some change. Then we have a old listing. This is a Magic Bullet Express lid cover replacement. Sold for $21 shipped. Yeah, I bought a Magic Bullet for like 10 bucks and part out the rest of the pieces really quick. But this piece has sat and sat. And I saw another Magic Bullet that uh, this past week at the thrift store. They wanted 45 bucks. So definitely not worth it. But you can part them out. Some of the parts are good. Then we've got a lot of five Marilyn Manson CDs, sold for $40 shipped. Buck a piece at an estate sale, one of them sealed. Individually, not worth a ton, Laud and the girl, then they sold. Then we've got um, one of our needlepoint pictures that are framed. Um, we picked these up from R&R, &R, which were a great buy so far, so yeah. good. Well, this is our yes, second one pretty? to sell. This one's bigger than the other one. You can tell them what it is. Um, so this is The Angelus by Millette. 
It's a completed frame needlepoint. It actually is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. They look super nice. I love them. Um, we have four of them. The sad thing was he told me, because he does a clean outs. This is how he gets it. And the guy, there's a guy that does it with him. And the guy destroyed apparently a bunch of these. The person that had a bunch, he said there was like 20. And the guy was break, throwing them in the trash. And step, like then they have people jump in the trash and like crush it down. Yeah. And he goes, why are you doing that? You know, and then he grabbed me these four. I probably have 20 bucks in them, in all four of them. We sold the Fisherman Captain for 70 yes. the other day. It's a little bit smaller than this, maybe half. Or two this days. one sold for a hundred dollars shipped. So very good. If you can find these completed ones, especially you can usually tell if someone did a really good job. It's these nice. Are just the crazy. frame is super nice. It's got a there's a company Somebody on the back. Really took the time to really take care. So for a hundred bucks, so. we'll take the time to ship something like this. Very happy. I feel bad for the other ones. Me too. So is my pocketbook. We've got a cardio a cardio arm. Wireless blood pressure monitor sold for 46 and some change, and it is going global shipping program. It was five bucks, but it hooks your app or whatever, so it's pretty cool. I tested it out. Then we got Wings of Desire on VHS, sold for ten dollars shipped. One of those random VHS that has a little value. Next up, Linda Buy. It's funny that Linda gets so excited, but all the rest of the buys, Cameron buys. Finally on the board, one item. This is an awesome thing that i picked up with salvation army the other day this is a hallmark polar express hot chocolate replacement mug um by itself sold for 43 dollars shipped um just for future reference if you can get the one with the saucer you're looking even more and then if you can get the one with the box it's even more i think it's like 100 it's for awesome. the one with the the box and it's like 80 with the saucer this was 3.99 i think and it sold in a week and a half or so it'll be enlisted so awesome. pretty good exactly Next up, we got S4, or I'm sorry, we got four, Forza Horizon 3 for Xbox One. So for $14 shipped. That was three bucks at a garage sale. Then one of uh, Cameron's Ben Sherman button ups from Salvation Army. This is a size medium, sold for $36 shipped. These were 10 bucks a piece, but they're brand new. We got three different sizes and they've sold very well for us. It's awesome. And they're really nice shirts. They look nice. Next up, probably going to be one of the hardest ones to ship. This is a vintage lot of three MCM George's Briard um, roly-poly glasses. Yeah. They're gold green. These are like these bar vintage barware, like 50s, yeah. 60s barware. And those sold for 42 and a half for the three sets. I uh, got them for a buck a piece. There's different styles. Some of them go crazy. Next up, we've got a five set of the vintage Mon Cuisine. Cuisine Wars. I don't know. Larry Niven, Niven yeah. books. They're sci fi books. And those sold for 17 for the set. Not a whole lot. And next up, we've got The Magnificent Seven um, on DVD, sold for $8 shipped, and that is out of the $200 DVD buy. Then we've got a commentary, Critical, Experimental, and Practical of the Bible, three volume set, sold for $40 shipped. I think this was like. Thick. Yeah, five bucks at a garage sale. I usually look for commentary. Some of them do better than others, but they are heavy though. Yeah, they're but they're going to be medium mail, so yeah. we'll be okay. Then we got a gold fanny pack. This is a vintage waste pack bag. It's a yellow taxi checkered pattern, and that sold for twenty five dollars shipped. Then a seven hundred dollar manual buy. We've got a Honda Civic Hybrid. 0304 ETM and also the same buyer purchased the 2003 service manual. Um, so they'll get both those. That one, the ETM sold for 31 and a half, the service manual sold for 36. So we'll put those in the same box, save us on shipping. Next up, we've got a Sega Genesis Classic. It's the black game console with 81 pre little games. Sold for $28 shipped. Normally it comes with controllers, but um, it didn't. this one didn't come with it. But it's still sold. People buy these replacement ones. I think the actual regular Genesis controllers also work. And it can still take Genesis games, too. Then we've got the Partridge Family, uh, the complete third season. Sealed. Sold for $14 shipped. That Next one may have been from the... No, no, I don't know when that one's from. Next up, we've got a Will Leather Goods canvas dust cover bag. It's a 19 by 19, sold for almost $14 shipped. We sold the Will Leather bag, and this was kind of nasty, but I got it cleaned a little bit, but I didn't include it because it was kind of rough. But then after I cleaned it, I'm like, let me just list it. And we still made some extra money on it, so that was cool. We'll take it. Next up, we've got a two set of Mr. Mr. Cassettes. We've got Sorry, Welcome to the Real World and I Wear the Face, sold for $14 shipped. 
Then we've got a two pack of genuine Epson inks sold for 12 and a half shipped. Then we've got Mad TV, best of seasons eight, nine, and 10 for almost $12 shipped. Sorry, picked up, guys, up at our local here. thrift store. <laughs> that one was the two bucks or a, oh, a buck, I think. Next up, uh, we got a book. This is Human Devolution, a Vedic yeah. alternative to Darwin's theory, sold for $18 shipped. Who knows? Random book, guys, but at least it's sold. We'll take it. Then a $1,200 tool buy. We've got a Kentmore Diagnostic Date Reader. Uh, it is untested because obviously we don't know how to test it. I have no idea. How <laughs> the other ones I can plug in and at least make sure they the functions seem to like... It you know, turns on, the buttons work. And the you know, screens, basics. I go from different screens and it's not doing anything weird. I mean, they've all have checked out so far. The guy, person I bought them from told me that most of this stuff was good. They just don't use this. That's ob It's more obsolete, or at least for what they use. But that was something I have no idea how to use it. And it sold for? $150 ship. So that was pretty good. Then we got a Minolta Freedom Zoom 125 camera. Um, comes with the battery. Yeah. Or the case, sorry. And the battery. Okay, and sold for $40 shipped, and we got that from R&R. &R. These little 35 millimeter cameras, guys, I've told you before, some of them sell very well. There's some that go for hundreds, if you can find the right ones. A lot of them are 25 to 40, 50 bucks, but a lot of them don't work, so you gotta test them, but get them cheap, there's some money in there. And some of them will still sell for parts. Then we got Fleetwood Mac Rumors on vinyl, sold for 21 and a half shipped. Next up, out of the Nike 450 buy, we've got a pair of Nike Air Hirachi. Hirachi. These are a men's nine and a half in great condition, yep, and those sold for $57 shipped. Then we've got a medium extra long um, Marine Corps woodland shirt. It is the digital camo, which doesn't sell as good as the regular camo, but that's okay. Still sells. And it sold for 38 and some change. Very happy. It's then, a good size because it was the extra long. Next up, pick this up at Savers. This is a vintage Stratojack. This is a men's double-breasted 80% wool jacket. It's a coat size of 42. It's so like you're going to be on law and order with this. Yeah, this is intense. Yeah, usually they have like black ones, but it's kind of like a nice big jacket. It was $15.99, I think, but we do get 20% off usually. Mm -hmm. Just I have no, never saw this brand before. At least I never looked it up. I'm like, this feels quality. It looks nice. It's got a little bit of a couple marks on it. It really needs to go to the dry cleaner, but I'm like, eh. Paid whatever that price was, 15, 16 bucks, and it sold for $100 shipped. Crazy thing was, someone was offering me, they said 60 was their best. I think I said 70. I'm like, I'll take 70. That's what I want for it. You know, and they're like, well, it's not in perfect shape. And I'm like, I know, but these are hard to find. They, they go for good money if you can have one. There's not many listed, and they didn't buy it. That was their last offer. And then someone bought it full price, 100. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Then this is also a Linda buy. We got two today. This is an IKEA Leckman well, storage container. Uh, it is new. I got in this the, the same day, I think. Yeah, new in the. No, I didn't. This oh, was the a uh, uh, couple of times ago. Yeah. Oddly enough, we had a couple things from that thrift store in here. And this sold for fifty-five dollars shipped. IKEA stuff can sell. It's hit and miss. Some of it goes very well. Some of it's not. If someone has it, we sold those curtains. Sold a bunch of them. I have another set of curtains that are also white. Haven't sold. So. I bought them because the first set did really well. This set's been slow. But either way, there can be good stuff there. Next up, we got a heating element off of a Farberware hearth grill. And that sold for $24 ship. We sold a couple of these. We've been parting out the Farberware. I had a bunch when we got them from the Hirsch buy. Next up, we got a Star Wars Rebel Pilot. He is almost four inches tall, and he sold for $12 ship. He's missing all of his accessories. He would have gone for closer to 20 if he had them, probably, at least. Oh. Then off of our Cozy Coop, Little Tykes Cozy Coop, we have the steering wheel with the pieces like to I stick did. it on. I put a little bag over and I bow a rubber band and they're all inside there. He's so proud of And that sold for $30 shipped. Guys, probably the most exciting buy recently is the Cozy Coop. This thing's a big money. We've been part of it. It's like every couple days we sell something. It's not crazy money. This is going to go first class. It's super light. 30 bucks. We sold, we're selling stickers for 10, 14 bucks. We're selling gas cap for 10, the eyes for 15. And most of the parts we sold have been first class. Even we sold that little type emblem. Oh, and, no, and the emblem, little, the cap for the for wheel. 15 yeah. bucks. We sold the emblem the other day. We have the rail still and another axle and a couple of other little. I think some, the, the, is the that roof. the roof? Yeah. And, um, Tori we, keeps grabbing that and trying to take it. So, and we have, um, a couple of small parts left, but we took a cozy coop for I got for five bucks. Like my source, he had a, he he was trying to build it, but he goes, "This is too much." But I'm like, "Do you have all the pieces?" He goes, "I don't even know now." Five bucks, just get it out of here. 
because it's kind of bulky and he just kept giving me all these parts. He's sassy. Yeah, and I went ahead and just looked them up and we've turned a five dollar buy into probably a hundred and something. I think you can buy a brand new one for cheaper than that. But it's been very profitable. Next up we got Super Mario 3D World for Wii U, sold for 16 and some change, and we picked that up at Camp 2022. Two bucks. Then we've got this cool thing. Wow. This is a this is pretty cool. I love this. Nyland Ford F-150 Super Toad Pickup Tow Truck 4x4. It's a vintage metal toy car, and it sold for $6. It's got that frog on there, too. It's, it's a chameleon. Chameleon, that's what I said. No, it's not. It's a frog. Oh, it is a frog. It's oh, not. it's a toad because it's super oh, toad. Oh, a toad. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> This is, uh, we figured it out. We solved the riddle. But anyways, this was, I think, 10 or 15 bucks. And um, it's got some damaged windshield cracked here. It's got stuff, but it's still, you know, cool enough. It's and been it, looked, it sounds like the guy, based on the messages he sent, is going to try to repair it. Yeah. So um, It was just at 100 bucks. Let's set it high, hoping to take a good offer. It's a uh, 30% off sale. It's been up a while, which is bringing it down to, what, 70 bucks? Yeah. And the guy said 50. And I said, hey, can you meet me at 60? You can have it. And he goes, sure, because you have to ship it from California, which I appreciate it. So we'll get that wrapped up and out of here. Happy to see it go. Then we got our missing item, hopefully to find. It's a vintage 1970s Triumph badge. It's, um, it's a little emblem it's you a little put on your car. little six-inch emblem, yeah. So we'll see what happens. And that sold for $25 shipped, if we can find it. Next up, we got a Top Flight Flawless Hybrid Golf Head cover. It's gray and pink. Sold for $10 shipped. Picked it up at Salvation Army. When Linda got the Polar Express, there was a whole box of these different ones, all Top Flight, which isn't the greatest brand, but it's like kind of a lower-end brand, but um they were eight bucks for a whole box i'm like i gotta pick them up they're all basically new they'll all sell for eight to ten bucks a piece and over time we'll make plenty of money we have like 20 so plenty of money to be made but it'll just take a while next up we have a toyota sienna key fob and that sold for 25 dollars shipped then we've got out of the 1200 dollars tool buy this is one of the manuals this is an 0304 honda element manual sold for 120 dollars shipped then we've got a pair of chaps. These are a men's slim straight fit stretch jeans. They're dark wash, $32.30, sold for $28 shipped. Not the best brand, but they're brand new. They're five bucks, couldn't pass them up. Going to pad it felt right, I'm sure. And last but not least, from Dennis. That's Whoever the guy who Dennis. sold us all the dead stock stuff. Ah, Dennis. His name is Dennis. Dennis. Uh, he, had a, he had a garage sale the other day. Um, he, had a bunch, he had a bunch of these manuals, even more, but most of them were trashed. If they were in good shape, I would. He was a buck a piece. I would have probably bought them all. I ended up picking out five, and this one sold for. This one sold for fifteen dollars shipped, and that's the Ford Mustang or Mercury Capri one. So very good. Great, Thanks, Dennis. Great sales day. Not really hard packing. Obviously, the picture frame being the probably the hardest, and then we got to pack the nylon thing, and then this things like this are just kind of awkward, and they don't. And we're not going to make much money. So happy, yeah. happy to see it go. Everything else is pretty easy. Little and cups might suck a little bit. Just take some time but won't take won't be too hard but very happy guys this is what it took us over a weekend it's pretty good i'm happy with it we really got to find this last item because it's bug bugging me you know we can obviously message them and cancel the sale it won't ding us or anything like you know we're not going to lose our account but it's more the principle i hate when i lose a little bit of money because i can't find something yeah. uh, it's different if, I, if something's broken and i made a mistake i have to tell them that but this is something that i should have here i have no idea i don't even remember where i put it like most stuff, I'm like, it should be here. Yeah, Cameron is pretty good about knowing where things are. Even like stuff that just... I put months and months and a year ago, I'll be like, no, it's right, it's over here somewhere. I know. Yeah. But I'm like, am I, am I don't have like a bin system where it's like A, B, and everything. We'd love to. It's more divided into <laughs> sections, but as, at times it's not as organized as it should be, and something's out of place. But with something like this, there's three little emblems. I feel like I should know where it is, and I can't recall even putting it on any shelf at all. So I got to find it. I hope I didn't throw it away because I had the fear that maybe I, it was in a box. Maybe I threw them away on accident because I just can't find them. But um, we'll let you know if we find it and we'll see if anything else sells tonight. Bye.